Hello Taurus, this is your June 2019 tarot reading and this is the Metaphysical Moonlighters channel. I am Citrine, I'm also known as D. And this month I am doing an astrological spread for you. So I have chosen at least one card for each of the 12 astrological houses. Now I am using the Medicine Woman tarot deck to do this reading. And I have also drawn one card from this oracle deck black moon astrology okay so let's get right into your reading okay so we will start off with house one okay now house one is all about you house one is about your outward demeanor it's about your outlook on life things of that nature okay so this month you have the king of pentacles so this month you're feeling very responsible Taurus, which is really great. Okay, so a lot of Taurus are going to feel very responsible this month. So that's good news. Let's move on to your house two. House two is all about your material possessions, such as your finances. And you have the eight of cups reversed this month. Okay, so for you, a lot of Taurus are feeling kind of... Um, like they don't want anyone to know about their finances this month, okay? The Eight of Cups can talk about a fear of intimacy. So for a lot of Taurus, you fear revealing anything personal about your finances this month, okay? Nothing is wrong with that. Now, let's move on to House 3. House 3, you have the Princess of, of um, I'm sorry, the Princess of Wands, Okay. And house three can be about communication. It can be about technology, transportation. It can also talk about short distance trips. So for a lot of tourists this month, you are feeling very enthusiastic in that area of your life. The princess of wands, it can talk about feeling enthusiastic. So in the way that you communicate this month, you will be enthusiastic. If you have a trip, planned you will be enthusiastic about that trip okay so overall the way you communicate and the way you travel around you will be enthusiastic now let's move on to house four house four is all about your home and your family life and it's also about your inner feelings and you have the wheel of fortune and it is reversed so there is something for a lot of Taurus. there's something there's like a change coming about within your home and your family life and by this card being reversed you a lot of you Taurus are going to be resistant to that change that's happening within your home and your family life okay now moving on to house five house five is all about fun creativity romance even children remember house five is ruled by the Sun okay now you have the nine of Pentacles reversed okay so for some Taurus out there some some of you Taurus are feeling like you have lost your your creative spark like you've lost your way you know maybe you're having trouble coming up with new ideas things of that nature okay just remember it's just a phase that most creative people go through Sometimes you, you know, you just get a lot of ideas. Other times you don't get any ideas. So that just might be something that some Taurus are going through this month. Okay. Now let's move on to house six. House six, you have the ace of wands. So this is really great. House six is all about your daily routine. It's even about your health. So a lot of Taurus this month, you're having a sense of um, like, as far as your health is concerned, a lot of Taurus are taking initiative towards better health in June okay and as far as your daily routine you are actually taking initiative on a daily basis as well okay so let's move on to house seven house seven is all about partnerships okay whether it's business partnerships or romantic partnerships and you have the five of cups reversed so some Taurus are feeling like it's time for you to move on, okay? You might be feeling like it's time for you to move on, whether it's, let's say you're dating someone and you feel like you're ready for something more serious, 
you're ready to move forward with that or if they're not ready to move on um if they're not ready to commit a lot of Taurus are feeling like you know what I am going to move on I'm not going to wait around I'm going to move on with my life okay so just remember that this month this is a great month for you to move on for those of you even if you're in a relationship and you feel like the other part the other party is not fulfilling their obligations you are ready to move forward with your life okay now you have the queen of pentacles in house eight house eight can be about what you're passionate about it can also represent your shared resources um house eight can also represent like a death in a rebirth okay and you have the queen of pentacles so a lot of Taurus are feeling very generous this month okay you're feeling very generous but at the same time you don't want to reveal everything that you have to everyone okay like a lot of tourists this month are going to feel like just because I have money, everyone doesn't have to know it. Or it could be the opposite. You know, maybe if you don't have as much money as you would like to have, no one would ever know that you're struggling. Okay. Now let's move on to house nine. House nine, you have the five of swords. Um, now house nine is ruled by Jupiter. Okay. And by you having the five of swords, in this area of your life which can deal with legal matters it can deal with higher education it can even deal with your interaction with other cultures okay so for you um some of you this could definitely represent that maybe there's some tourists out there who might um get a ticket or something like that this month there might be some type of legal matter that comes up and you're going to feel like it's petty you know, like maybe you stopped at the stop sign but didn't stop long enough so you get a ticket for something like that. So just watch out for that this month. Now, as far as house 10, house 10 is ruled by Saturn. And house 10 is all about what you are known for in the world, whether it's your job, your business, your hobby. Uh, you have the eight of pentacles in this area. So you feel a lot of tourists feel like they are making progress in their careers or their businesses. So that's really great for you, Taurus. Now, as far as your friendships, you do have the justice card. And this is all about balance, fairness. As far as your friendships are concerned, you feel like your friendships are moving along very in a very nice manner. You feel like your friends treat you fairly. You treat your friends fairly. You feel like there's a balance in your friendships. All right. Now you have the three of cups in the area of your life dealing with your spirituality, which is really good. Okay. Because remember, house 12 is ruled co-ruled by Neptune and Jupiter. And it can talk about your spirituality. So everything's going great in that area of your life as well. Now let's get into your message for this month. You have Gemini. You have the Gemini, which talks about I think. So for a lot of Taurus this month, this is a message for you to think about what you say before you say it. Because remember, Gemini is the sign that deal that can deal with a lot of talking, a lot of talking and communicating. Okay. So for you, Taurus, this month, this is an extra message for you just to think about what you say before you say it this month. Okay nothing major it's just something that you know we all need to keep in the back of our minds to think about what we say before we say it this month okay and other than that everything else looks great for you this month Taurus and if you would like a personal private reading just like this one but personally for you then you can contact me I am on Facebook Citrine Shaka um, or you can visit my website, metaphysicalmoonlighters.com, and I will be happy to schedule an appointment with you. I also do mini readings as well. I normally charge like uh, $7.77 for a mini reading, which you can ask like up to one question for that. And um, I also do full in-depth readings as well. 
just visit my website. I do have my prices listed there. And if you are a member of the gifted community on Facebook, I do offer a discount to gifted members. So again, this has been Citrine. I'm also known as D. And this has been the Taurus June 2019 tarot reading. So until next month, Taurus, enjoy your month.